What's up guys and we're back with episode number two. More facts about hemp and marijuana just to further educate those. A few of the applications, medicinal and uh, just environmental, healthy yeah. soil. And we got a things. you know a story for you guys that, that it's um, going to be told from personal experience for any doubters out there or anyone that's maybe looking for uh, education on uh, such a matter. So I guess we can just kick it right off and get started. Mm -hmm. um, what should we start off with? I think we should start off with how it fights cancer. Mm -hmm. How it helps with the chemotherapy. Yeah, um, you know, it's, it's been well known for a very long period of time that, you know, uh, marijuana is used um, for cancer patients. But, you know, we took it for granted for years as children growing up, and young adults, come up to recently. Yeah. Um, kind our, of doubted it a little bit. Yeah, sometimes. we even doubted it, you know. I mean, but then our mom was uh, diagnosed with cancer in February of 2016, and it was stage four when they discovered it. So, lung cancer caused from smoking. So, they immediately had to take action and um, started giving her chemotherapy and radiation therapy. Mm -hmm. And you know, the pain was just about unbearable. That she had to suffer. She couldn't eat. Had her a bunch. I had her on a bunch of different kind of medicines, um, nausea, yeah, for pain everything, for nausea and for pain. Um, you know, she couldn't eat and have appetite. When she did, she was very nauseated, like uncontrollably nauseated. So, um, she tried cannabis, and not only did the cannabis fight the nausea. I mean, it it. It ended it completely. There was no more nausea, and it, and it helped her helped her pain more than any other medication. Mm -hmm. But not only did it do okay. that, it um, well, I just, the only reason I ask is because well, it like was so effective and so powerful that it, it actually shrunk the tumor from a stage four down to a five millimeter nodule. It's almost undetectable. Mm -hmm. And she was given a, a certain amount of time to live. I mean, we're talking about it was it was tragic it was over I mean it was chronic man man now you know it's who knows how long she'll live she lives a normal life without pain without nausea without cancer all from this right here yeah, all thanks to cannabis I mean it, is a, it, it, it can it can it can fix almost any problem whether you, you have hunger issues you can't eat whether you have pain issues whether you have arthritis I mean what do you think what else? I mean, man, there's uh, so many applications. So many headaches. Different things. Yeah. If, uh, did you already say sleep? No. If you can't sleep, it helps with that. It. Uh, if you sleep too much, you yeah. can't hardly stay awake. It helps with that. Yeah. You, yeah. Because then that's when the sativa comes into play. And mm -hmm. then not only that, you know, if they if they would harvest the hemp of it, if I'm not mistaken, I think uh, one acre of hemp can replace four acres of trees, trees. for paper. Yep, makes more paper like than trees. So, I mean, that's something else they should really start looking into. If anything, make the hemp legal, which in most places, not even hemp is legal. Yep, not only that, uh, it can be used to make fuel for a vehicle. I mean, it's uh, cleaner than diesel or gasoline and burns cleaner and more efficiently. The best one I just seen uh, here recently was that it can help treat soil from uh, nuclear disasters. They yep. use it over there in Chernobyl. Yep, to it can help, help uh, um, clean up the yeah, soil. Yeah, it can help purify um, contaminated soil from nuclear fallout. It can help um, uh, clean it to where other vegetation can grow and make it um, livable for humans. Make it to where we can rehab it. Re, uh, re-inhabit, uh, re-inhabit, uh, yeah, there you yes. Which really makes me wonder, like, why is there so much of a war on this? They're wasting yeah, a lot they, of money. Yeah, I mean, they're definitely trying to suppress marijuana. Uh, it's definitely a waste of our money, of taxpayers' money. To try to fight it, yeah. To try to fight this, I mean, we got it backwards from the beginning. Marijuana's been in prohibition for a long time, and, and alcohol's been legal. But, but think of the damage that alcohol causes, that what it does. How many families it's devastated, how many, how many lives it's destroyed. Yeah, I each mean, day, each year. And all there is for cannabis is just miracles. People getting saved left and right. Kids having seizures, mm -hmm. you know, can have up to 20, 30 seizures a day, get a little cannabis oil in there. Never have another one. Never have again. I seen one, uh, it wasn't a kid, it was an older gentleman had Parkinson's disease, just sitting there shaking. 
He took him a few drops again. Was all it was five minutes. He was completely fine. Steady hand, sitting huh? there hungry. <laughs> By cool hand, Luke, steady hand. <laughs> Hell yeah. I mean, this, this, we're not, we're not just giving you our opinion. Everything we're telling you is based on a fact. Mm -hmm. A lot of hard work and research, and fact. Marijuana is not bad. It's and just not a bad thing. No, no, not at all. Don't follow the stereotypes. Do your own research. Do your own don't own take research. my word for it. Yeah. Don't take my brother's word mm -hmm. for it. Do your own research. Dig deep and do your yeah. own research. Don't listen to someone's opinion. Don't listen to the media either. A lot of times the media wants to talk bad about it. And you see TV shows where they want to act stupid on it. I was watching one the other day. They ate some cookies and went on a whole adventure like they were drunk. And that's that, that freaked me out because that's yeah. a complete miss. Yeah, it's not a hallucinogenic. You're not going to hallucinate. You're not, no. not going to suffer memory loss. If, if you are hallucinating or having some kind of bad reaction, that's because somebody laced it with something. Yeah, or dipped it. You're, or, yeah, you're, dipped you're it joining, in the, uh, you know, embalming fluid, fluid, or, fluid something. or something. Yeah, um, that's something else you got to watch out for about buying it off the streets, which would be another good thing. If they would just legalize it, yeah. Because then it, we wouldn't have to be going to some back alley shady dealer. True. To get our uh, cannabis. And not only that, if it was to become legalized, where you could tax it, think about what it would do for our deficit, what it would do for our economy. Colorado has already drawn in billions of revenue. They they yeah, already would, given back to schools and streets. It and, would strengthen our country significantly. Uh, up until recently, oil was a oil and coffee were the main commodities for this country. That was what we made most of our money off of. It was our biggest supporter. But um, obviously, oil is not uh, dependable. I was in oil field for over a decade, and it's just an up and down. Uh, it's just an up and down roller coaster. You never know if you're going to have a job come the next day, mm -hmm. next morning when you wake up and you go in, you may or may not have a job. And uh, to be honest with you, it's failed us. Our economy has suffered. By legalizing this little plant right here, mm -hmm. you can help our schools for our children. You can help oh, yeah. um, hospitals, hospitals, the roads. Mm -hmm. It will pull us out of a deficit. And not to mention just the sheer fact of all the different medical applications for it. Not only medical, it's just numerous. Just real world applications. You can make clothes with it. Yes, hemp clothes. You can make lotion with it out of lotion. the hemp fibers. You um, can cook with the seeds. The cloth that's made from hemp. Is more durable, mm -hmm. longer lasting than cotton, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. uh, easier to get because you don't, you know, it's not. You get more from it. Is what I'm trying not to say. Not to mention, just, uh, if because it can be used as a fuel to power your car to go down the road. Um, if you were to do that, um, not only would your vehicle last longer, but fuel would be cheaper. Well, heck, they're all about to go to electric anyway, so. <laughs> uh, that's fine. But too. still, you know, that still wouldn't stop this right here from helping numerous things numerous and just it's innumerable really yeah it's it has uh, hundreds and hundreds of applications it can treat i can't tell you how many different types of medical issues um mm -hmm. so many that we ain't got enough time to name them here on this video but, but uh you know definite we're definite supporters of this um we live in new mexico which as we all know is uh, legal for medicinal and they're Soon working on be. passing it for recreational. It's uh, in process we'll, right now. We'll keep going formed on that too. Yep, it's definitely in bill bill form right now, yeah. trying to be passed. So if you're in New Mexico and you get a chance, make sure you vote yes on that bill yep. when it comes about. And this isn't something that's going to go away. This is going to be around for a long time. There's already several several states that's uh, legalized it for recreational. And it's opened up hundreds of jobs. Yep, that's another hundreds. thing. It uh, being how we can't depend on the oil right now because the oil crisis is going on and it's going to continue happening. Um, this is more dependable. It will provide more jobs and um, they will stay a steady. It will be a steady They'll be more steady. They'll stay longer than the ones in the oil field. Um, you know, it's it's something that's catching on. It's snowballing. There's, ever since Colorado done it, there's been more and more that's, that has done it since and it's going to do it. Pump up until it's, it's in all 50. Yeah. And to be honest with you, uh, you know, these states that have it for recreational, that's only state law. Federally, they're still illegal, but those days are numbered yeah, as well. Yeah, that's only for a short time. That'll soon be overturned. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, you can't, especially with Trump in there, that's a business opportunity that he can't afford to pass. He's a businessman. Yeah, yeah. It's, you can't afford to pass. This is going to, this can generate more revenue than coffee and oil combined. Mm -hmm. There's no doubt. There's no doubt in my mind at all. I mean, but um, I hope we were informative. 
and uh, look for more videos to come soon. And if y'all have any facts for us, don't be afraid to leave them down there in the comments yep, section. Yep, we're open books. We're, we're not here just to we'll, teach, we're here to we'll, learn. We're willing to learn, teach us. But if you have any questions or anything else you'd like us to cover, Please get don't be afraid to comment. Hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Next time, guys. Peace.